So let me get a couple of these things. I'm saying that numeracy has to include lots of this stuff. In fact, all of this stuff. A lot of folks think that it's only accuracy. Accuracy. Accuracy with numeracy. Accuracy. What does that mean? Accuracy. That's the right answer. Are kids getting the right answer? Oh, that is important. So sometimes we get knocked in the, in the media, we're like, oh, it's all this fuzzy math. Kids don't even have the right answer. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, now we have the right answer because we're talking about how we get there. So now the right answer becomes a given. Is the right answer important? Of course it's important. Why kids to have the right answer? But not only just the right answer. So what else? I want kids to be flexible. Flexible? What does that mean? For me, in my learning, there was no flexibility happening whatsoever because it was, uh, show me your work. Oh, show me my work, right? There was, there was a, about how I might think about the problem. I repeated the teacher's instructions. So we really do want kids to be flexible. Do you know that people with numeracy do not pick the first strategy that comes to their mind? When they look at a problem, you know, you see people like that, right? Those mathy people I'm jealous of because I was not one of them. Remember, I was the memorizer. I was not the one who saw the relationships. I, I, I would watch them go, oh, yeah, well, you could just cut that in half and then multiply by 10 and then blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, you could? Okay. I could just do this nice algorithm that I've memorized, and it works just fine. I mean, never had to figure out what they were doing in their heads. But what's noteworthy to me is that they didn't necessarily pick the first thing, the best thing. So if they looked at a problem, they didn't go, ah, I see the best strategy. Often, a person with numeracy will look at the numbers and go, should I do this? Mm -hmm. This? Mm -hmm. This? Mm -hmm. Actually, this was best. Like, they'll try several different relationships in their heads. If I try this relationship, does it just fall out? Yeah, no. If I try several, how about this one? No. This one? Oh, that one. All right, yeah. And then they, they find a relationship that helps the problem turn into sort of a non-problem, where they can just kind of figure it out easily, um, often mentally. So that flexibility, some of us, I, myself included, when I start, first started learning about numeracy, I thought it was picking the best strategy right off the bat. And if I didn't know what it was, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not happy. I don't have good numeracy. When in reality, it, 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 for all of us, we need to practice different main, uh, uh, more sophisticated strategies. And when we do that, then we get better at that. This one? No. This one? No. The, oh yeah! This one would be great for these numbers. And now the numbers begin to dictate which strategy we choose. So are algorithms part of that? Well, by how do our teeth say they are? And so I, I'm going to go ahead and teach, in our teeth, it says, uh, it, both in our current teeth and the new ones that are about to come out, it says that kids need to use algorithms. I'm totally fine with kids studying the algorithms why they work, because they are really cool. The algorithms are amazingly sophisticated tools that cram a whole lot of information. Pardon me while I get that. That uh, put a whole lot of information in a small, compact, not very easy to understand, kind of incredibly difficult and complicated thing, and, and that's really kind of cool that our algorithms can do that. And so because of that, I want to study algorithms. That is interesting to me, but I don't necessarily want it to be the only thing that kids can do. In fact, I don't want it to be the only thing that kids can do at all. I want them to have remember, that flexibility. I want them to have choices. So of course we're going to study the algorithms. We're going to study them as a study and place value. You're going to get a whole lot more of that in particular at your grade levels when you go to your grade bands. We'll look specifically at some of those algorithms and how we can study them to get our place value, our sense of place value better. Um, but notice that over here on the right hand side, I've got creativity, <coughs> sophistication, and elegance. Okay, that's literacy, right? That's where we want to be creative and we want to be elegant in our writing. But we can bring that into mathematics as well, and that's really cool. Notice that I've also got efficiency. I want kids to be efficient. I don't want them using lots and lots of counting strategies or even additive strategies when they're in multiplication. Let me give you a, uh, let me go here. I'd like to give you an example of um, some multiplicative thinking. So let's say, for example, I said to kids a multiplication fact, one of the most missed facts. If kids are going to miss a multiplication fact, they might miss 7 times 8. That's one of the most missed ones. Kids just don't have that one down. So if I were to say to them 7 times 8 and a kid were to go, Let's see, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24. Is that a multiplicative strategy? Because they're finding 7 times 8, right? They're finding a multiplication problem. Is that multiplicative? What kind is that? Is that an additive strategy? How come? Ooh, now I've got counting strategies. Which ones? Counting or additive? Okay, find the person next to you. Turn to the person next to you. Ask yourselves if I skip count, if I skip count by 8, is that counting or additive? Could somebody give me an example of 7 times 8 using a counting strategy? I didn't ask you that before. Using a counting strategy, could you, could you help me? How would a kid use a counting? I think kindergarten. 
If I were to say to a kindergartner, hey, I've got uh, seven, how many? Seven. Seven. Kids, and they are each going to get eight cupcakes. Okay, not really a good problem. <laughs> so that's what they All right, so if I've got seven kids and they're each going to get eight cupcakes, how might a kindergartner solve? Would they count out eight and then count out? Yeah, they'd have seven like markers, right? Here are my seven kids. Okay, then I'm going to give you eight and give you. That's a counting strategy. So that's not what I did, right? What I did was 8, 16, 24, 30. So is that, that's a skip counting? That's additive strategy. Do I want kids using additive thinking when they should be multiplying? So what does it look like to do 7 times 8 multiplicatively? What would that, how does that feel? What's a strategy I could use to think about 7 times If I don't know it, do I want kids to know 7 times 8? Of course I want kids to know 7 times 8. But if they don't know it, I want them to know their job is to... Tell me if you're talking about strategy, right? <laughs> Should I give you a minute to talk about strategy? Ooh, can you guys replay your conversation for us? What were you guys just saying? <laughs> seven times seven, and you add another seven. Add another set of seven. So if I want eight sevens, if I want eight sevens, they just said, well, if you know seven sevens, what is seven sevens? Forty-nine. So if you know seven sevens is forty-nine, then can I tack on one more seven? Because remember, I wanted eight sevens. So if I tack one more 7 on the 49, what's 49 and 7? Think additively, 49 to 50, now how many do I have left? 6 more, hey there's that 56 we saw earlier. Yeah, that's a great example of a multiplicative strategy. But it totally depends on what you know. So you might be saying right now, my kid doesn't know 7 times 7. Okay, I might break you down. What do they know? Now you've got to figure out what that kid knows. And then build on from there. What's another thing we could know? You guys were just saying five. Could I know something like five? Which one? Eight, five eights? If I want seven eights, could I do five eights and three more eights? That would be a fine way to do that. Or if I'm still thinking about sevens, could I find five sevens, but I wanted eight sevens? But I'm gonna have to add three more sevens back on. So different ways that I can think about using what I do know to figure out what I don't know. Now of course we want that to be fast. In fact, I'm not really good at this. Let's see if I can go backwards. Can I go backwards? No, I need to practice, practice, practice. Yeah. In fact, notice that I have efficiency. I also want speed. I didn't talk about speed before, but I do want speed. That's got to be part of numeracy. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the quickest person in the class, but it does mean that I can't have kids using inefficient strategies that take too long. When I get him in algebra, I do need to have some speed. However, anybody want to admit that you've got a multiplication fact? You still don't know. That every time it comes up, you figure it out. But you probably use some nifty way of figuring it out. You probably use some nice relationship. That's what we want to help kids understand. We want to help them understand that if you don't know them, they are figure out of them. So here's what I don't want. If I ask a kid seven times eight, the kid goes, yeah, I don't know that one. <laughs> Move on, don't know that one. Right, the kid, the kid is totally expecting me to say, oh, this is something that you retrieve from memory or don't. And if I can't retrieve it from memory, yeah, I don't know. Move on. Ask someone else. Because they're really clear that if I say, I don't know, then you're going to go, all right, you don't know. All right, what's sometimes it? All right, you, what's sometimes it? All right, you, what's sometimes it? I don't want that. What I want is for a kid to go, yeah, I don't remember what that is. Let's see, what do I know? And figure it out from there. I want the kids to know that that's their job. I want them to know that math is figure outable. That it's not all about memorizing seven times eight. If they don't have it, they can figure it out. That's my goal.